The modern turbocharged common rail diesel engine is an absolute gem when it comes to torque, power and fuel economy. But these engines have a dark and disturbing secret that some owners just don't find amusing. Welcome to the Ryko Filters Training Academy. The intake manifolds on these engines tend to cake up with a sticky black muck or sludge and become restricted. Without being properly cleaned, the engine will suffer from power loss and increased fuel consumption. There are numerous ways of removing this sludge. While some methods are approved, others can impact the operation of the engine DPF. Unfortunately, all require an unwanted and expensive trip to a mechanical workshop. The best course of action is to avoid the build-up in the first place. This can be done easily and inexpensively by installing an RCC350 Ryko crankcase ventilation system. Unwanted carbon in the manifold is caused by the emission regulations that CRD vehicles must comply with. The main pollutant that needs controlling is NOx or nitrogen oxides. Diesels produce very high levels of this gas due to a combination of excess oxygen and high combustion pressures and temperatures. The majority of diesel vehicles on our roads are fitted with a device called an EGR valve, which controls NOx emissions by lowering the combustion temperatures through recirculation of a small quantity of inert exhaust gas. The gas flows from the exhaust through the EGR valve to the intake manifold, where it's able to enter the engine cylinders. The exhaust gas occupies space that would otherwise be taken up by fresh intake air, and in particular, oxygen. Because there is less opportunity for this excess oxygen to react with the nitrogen in the air, the combustion temperatures are reduced, therefore lowering NOx output. There's another force at play within the engine that we need to understand. Engine blow-by gases and crankcase pressure are side effects of internal combustion engines. Every time the crankshaft rotates, downward movement of each piston creates a positive air pressure within the crankcase. Add to this blow-by gases that are created during combustion of the fuel-air mixture, and the resulting engine crankcase pressures are fairly high. Crankcase gases contain hydrocarbon, carbon monoxide, NOx and carbon dioxide emissions, water condensation and vaporised oil particles that cannot be legally released into the atmosphere and so must be controlled. This pressurised cocktail of chemicals is relieved through the crankcase breather system to the intake where it is drawn through the turbo and inlet tract into the cylinders. All combustible gases are burnt off and the remaining emissions are dealt with by the exhaust catalyst and diesel particulate filter. Turbocharged CRD vehicles tend to create an abundance of blow-by and crankcase gases as they operate with much greater combustion pressures than naturally aspirated engines. So we now have two emission control systems expelling gases into the intake system. The hot EGR tends to react with any liquid hydrocarbons and oil vapour from the engine crankcase. The result is a baked on carbon substance that left unchecked will eventually block the intake manifold. Ryko filters have developed a new product that will help alleviate problems associated with crankcase gas emissions. The RCC350 crankcase filter assembly has been designed and engineered by Ryko Filters and suits power plants of up to 350 kilowatts or engines that produce up to 240 litres of blow-by gas per minute. The assembly is fitted with control and check valves to ensure correct engine operation and is equipped with a large 310 millilitre oil sump providing long drain intervals. By installing an RCC350 into the crankcase breather system between the engine outlet and the fresh air intake ducting, carbon causing crankcase vapours are effectively prevented from entering the intake manifold by its internal filter. 
When the engine is operating under peak crankcase gas generation conditions, the vapour mix is pushed from the engine into the unit's inlet, where it passes through a filter comprising of a high efficiency coalescing media. Any hydrocarbon liquid, oil vapour or water condensation gathers on the media surface. When these particles form large enough droplets, they fall to the large oil collection sump at the base of the unit. Gases flow easily through the media and into the engine inlet, where the filtered crankcase air is drawn into the cylinders and burnt. Because the gas entering the intake no longer contains the chemicals that cause sludge formation, carbon blocking of the intake manifold is effectively eliminated. When initially fitted to the vehicle, the RCC350 should be inspected and drained fairly regularly to determine the crankcase emission output. Engines may require different inspection and drain cycles based on their individual power, wear and operating conditions. It's recommended that the RCC350 be inspected and drained at a minimum every time the engine is serviced. However, some engines may generate crankcase emissions necessitating more frequent intervals. The filter has a lifespan of 40,000 kilometres, with easy access and replacement by removal of the four housing lid screws. If a filter change interval is missed, the vehicle creates excessive crankcase gases, or if the oil level in the filter sump is allowed to get too high and obstruct the filter prematurely blocking the element, a bypass valve within the unit will open allowing crankcase gases to briefly vent to the atmosphere to protect the engine of unwanted back pressure. The check valve prevents captured contaminants from being drawn into the engine's air intake in the event of high vacuum, like engine overrun conditions. So if you or someone you know owns a turbocharged diesel vehicle and you don't want first-hand experience with a trip to the workshop to cure that wheezy breathing, then perhaps a RICO crankcase filtration system is for you. Again, be sure to follow the RICO Filters Training Academy and develop your knowledge with the market leaders in filtration. Thanks for watching.